That's an excellent question, and it's actually quite an important one. Um, one of the great things about SETI signals um, is that the fact that they're from other planets which are moving and we ourselves are moving means that the relative motion is actually... Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> well, fine. Start again. If you go, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, the relative motion of uh, planets which we're observing and Earth is a very important way um, to distinguish between signals which could potentially come from extraterrestrial civilizations and signals which we see all the time contaminating our data which come from you know, local radio stations and, and man-made um, transmitters here on Earth. So yes, we do. We, do. we certainly search across um, the parameter space looking for um, signals associated with um, particular values for, for motions that we assign to, to the planets we're observing. And in fact, we do now even more exotic things because we know that some star systems have many planets associated with them. Um, we can actually, by, by looking at the, uh, the relative orbits of the planet in a far away um, star system, we can actually look for radiation which we expect to be associated with two planets in that system, trying to communicate, and we can see if we can detect some, some spillover radiation. So, so yes, in summary, um, the, the motion is certainly important, and it's a very important tool uh, that we have to, to distinguish um, extraterrestrial transmissions from our own here on Earth. Do you need to know the rotation period or the, the day length of the planet itself? Do you need to know? Yeah, so if there's somebody that's transmitting in one spot on the planet and then the planet rotates and takes them out of your view, then... Do we do, we do that? That seems... I don't know the same question. No. And, of course, if you have a... If you have a transmitter on Earth that is on, on a planet that is rotating, you'd expect that transmitter to disappear from view and to reappear um, into view. And, and that sort of modulation of the signal could also be useful um, in distinguishing it as, a, as an extraterrestrial transmission. <laughs> or, or something. I mean, I can address it, but I will be just making up an answer. Sure. <laughs>